To the bowl of a stand mixer, add 500 grams of bread flour. and 10 grams of salt. Briefly whisk to incorporate. Continue mixing your ingredients by adding 275 grams of water and your active sourdough starter. Then give it a rough stir. Transfer to a stand mixer fitted with a dough hook and begin kneading at a low speed, speed two on a KitchenAid until the dough comes completely together. After the dough has come together, add three tablespoons of softened butter, one at a time, allowing each tablespoon to fully incorporate before adding the next. The dough is finished kneading when it is smooth, soft, and passes a window pane test. It should not be sticky when removed from the stand mixer or problems will occur later on. Shape the dough into a ball. Then place it into a bowl or back into your stand mixer to proof. Cover with plastic cling wrap, a damp towel, or a lid. Let it rise until it has increased in volume by at least 50%, 4 to 12 hours. After the initial proof is complete, divide your dough into six equal portions. You can eyeball this or use a scale. I used a scale, first weighing the entire mass to see how large each section needed to be, then weighing each of the six sections to make sure they were of equal size. My sections were approximately 150 to 160 grams each. Pre-shape each pretzel by rolling each ball into a 24 to 27 inch long rope. When the dough begins to pull back on you, as pictured, it's time to give it a rest before finishing the pretzel shape. Repeat with all six balls of dough. Rest for 15 minutes, allowing the gluten to relax before shaping into a pretzel. Meanwhile, clean your work surface. To shape the pretzels, take your rope and form a U. Cross the two ends over each other so that your shape becomes like that of a fish. Repeat this one to two more times for your pretzel's middle twist. Last, bring the top down to the bottom, 
completing the pretzel shape. Repeat with the remaining dough portions. Rest your shaped pretzels for 30 to 60 minutes on the counter, then another 30 to 60 minutes in the fridge. The room temperature rest will give your pretzels fluff, while the cold rest will make them easy to work with, as well as give them a beautiful oven spring. After your pretzels have been in the fridge for at least 30 minutes, preheat your oven to 450 degrees Fahrenheit. Bring six cups of water to a boil. Then reduce it to a simmer. Add two thirds cup of baking soda to your hot simmering water. Take care to add a little bit at a time, whisking thoroughly as you do so, so that the mixture does not boil over. After the baking soda is completely dissolved, add three tablespoons of honey to the pot and whisk to dissolve. At this point, it's time to remove your pretzels from the fridge. Place them alongside a wire rack and a skimmer. Simmer each pretzel in the baking soda bath for 30 seconds. Place them on a wire rack to drain completely. Transfer the pretzels to a baking sheet lined with parchment paper or a silicone baking mat. Salt the pretzels with a coarse, flaky, or pretzel salt. Bake in your preheated oven for 10 minutes, then reduce the temperature to 425 degrees Fahrenheit and bake for 8 to 10 minutes more. Immediately remove your pretzels from the baking sheet and place on a cooling rack to prevent overcooking the bottom. And there you have it, sourdough soft pretzels. Enjoy. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe for more.